Hey Aquarius, thanks for stopping by for your April reading. How are you doing? <laughs> I know that that may sound like a rhetorical question, but I am actually asking. Um, you could answer the screen if you want to, or you know, you could let me know if you feel like talking about it. It can be nice to vent a little bit. Okay, so Aquarius, here's what I heard when I sat down to meditate, do my little prayer before I, you know, do my pre-shuffle and all that before we turn on the recorder. Spirit was talking about, they gave me two different things. They gave me the word, innovate, and they were giving me that, that they were actually playing a song, uh, that old song, Who Wrote the Book of Love? But they were saying, like, you wrote the book on this. You wrote the book on this. Innovate. You wrote the book on this. Some of you may be actual writers, but others of you, it's purely metaphorical. It's like, you are going to make this your own. You're innovating. April may, in a way, force you to innovate a little bit, but they give me a very effervescent feeling when I say that. Let's get into your cards. Let's see how your cards play with this message. Wow! Sorry. <laughs> I'll pull, put them all up in a second, but damn, right off the bat, like, Seven of Cups crossed by the Ace of Wands. Talk about innovate. It just never fucking ceases to amaze me how how strongly and clearly spirit comes through. But okay, tell me more. Tell me more about Aquarius. Wow. Oh my god. Some of you might have Capricorn placements. Let me know in the comments. Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> Okay. Wow. You have some good dreams, Aquarius. You have some good ideas. You have many goals, many opportunities in front of you. Now that is the blessing and the curse of the Seven of Cups. This figure is, this card is very unique in the tarot because it's pretty much the only one to depict the querent themselves. Um, so the person getting the reading is what I mean by the querent. Um, and for once we see the person themselves as looking at all of these cups, all of these possibilities and opportunities. What do I want? Do I want love? Do I want money? Do I want vanity? Do I want power? What do I want? Um, and the other thing about the Seven of Cups, Sevens are a bit, I mean, you have a couple of Sevens here. They're about sorting. And it's like, what is necessary, what is not necessary, what is good for me, what is not so good for me. And I feel that after a long period of like working on figuring yourself out. That's what I'm feeling is like a lot of you have spent a lot of time trying to figure yourself out, trying to figure out what do I want? What am I doing? Is this, is this going in the direction that I want it to? And you know, Aquarius, you're an air sign and you can get a little bit in your head, um, which the seven of cups is all about. And so is this card in the hidden or sort of like what's going on within you um, position. Nine of Swords. Now this card has come up in half more of the readings I've done for this month. Collectively speaking, we're all experiencing a sense of loss and fear and anxiety. So I feel like that's very natural. I feel like I almost don't need to like go on and on about that because there's a little bit of, um, what I want to talk about in like personal relation to you is that I'm feeling some analysis paralysis. I'm feeling like you've been staring at those seven of cups, thinking about those nine swords for so long that you might be feeling a little overwhelmed. And spirit is saying you have the passion and you have the idea, right? So the ace of wands is crossing your reading. Beautiful card amazing card for new beginnings, a new light coming into your life, a new sense of passion and purpose and a feeling like I can take this all the way. 
especially with that Knight of Wands crowning your reading, like, hey, if you pass me the Ace, I'll take this baton all the way to the next person in the relay race. The Knights are like the transition itself, the change itself, the pursuit itself. You will become the master of your craft, whatever your thing that you want to innovate, whatever the thing that you want to write the book on, how perfect that the fucking Hierophant, <laughs> the holder of the big book, is who is sitting in your future. The Hierophant is called the Pope of the Tarot. They're also like the mentor, the master, the teacher, the one who passes on sacred or secret knowledge to students. A lot of you Aquarians, you know, it's no surprise to me that you have specialized knowledge. That's the phrase that Spirit is using directly with this Hierophant. It's like, because of exactly what you've been through, because of exactly what it is that you study, and, and like they're saying, the Seven of Cups can work for you if you don't get lost. But that's the, that's, like I said, that's the rub. That's the blessing and the curses. It's like, well, it's hard not to get lost in dreams. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to paraphrase a quote from Henry David Thoreau. It is fine that you have built your castles in the sky. Now put the foundations underneath them. Okay. So your big dreams, your big idea of like, this is what I would love to be known for. This is how I would love to be seen. This is where I get my power. The emperor sits in the position of where you find yourself. You find yourself the king of the castle, the master of your life, wherever you, um, wherever you identify on the gender spectrum. Um, when I say the king of your castle, when I say emperor, that is quote unquote classically masculine energy, or we could think of it in terms of like solar versus lunar. It's solar energy. It's go out and get it. It's set the rules, set the schedule, and then we build. And we don't stray from the plan. Because if we decided what the plan was when we were clear headed, when we looked at those seven, and, uh, seven of cups and said, look, I've got two hands, and honestly, I've got one brain and one heart. I know that I can't grab all seven of these at once and keep all the liquid inside them, right? If I try to take them all, I'm going to spill most of what I grab. He who chases two rabbits catches none. So instead, I'm going to say, this is the thing that I choose to seize in this moment. This is where I want to see results in this moment. So I'm going to grab one and I'm going to take it all the way. You notice we don't have the Ten of Wands or anything like that here. We want to grab one and we want to take it all the way. If you, with your one wand, take this on, you can take on everything and everybody that might be coming at you, whether it's in competition of trying to do the same thing, whether it's in direct competition of, I don't like what you're doing, or I want to be the top of my game at what you're doing and, and people are coming at you. You are in a great position. You have the higher ground. Yes, it's a defensive position, but that says, again, that you have maintained the higher ground, that you have the real power and status. There could be some great wealth gain this month as well. I know I'm not, I'm not looking at any pentacles here, but that is what Spirit is telling you with the Emperor. Um, you may find that your particular brand of specialized knowledge, especially if you know how to um, get the message out there, is deeply desired and and hailed <laughs> that's what i'm hearing um want to talk really quickly about what's in the potential position four of wands <sighs> a happy home and you know <laughs> wasn't even thinking about the the circumstances every single one of us not just in the u.s but in the world is dealing with right now it's like a pretty important time to have like a happy home. <laughs> so this can contribute to your happy home. This can contribute. Some of you might be working. I mean, a lot of you might be working from home right now and putting a schedule to it may seem like, oh, but I don't want to. Like I'm an Aquarius. I like a lot of things. I like to think about a lot of things. And it's like, OK, but if I ask you what you've gotten done, on those seven goals you had, 
if you feel like you're making amazing progress and you feel like it's going really well, like far be it from me to tell you to change your system. But if the way that I'm hearing it, you have a lot of things that you're like, I'd like to work on this and I'd like to work on this. I'd like to improve my health. I'd like to do this creative project. I'd like to get it. Again, if you try to grab all these cups at once, it's inevitable that like five, six, maybe all seven of them will spill. But if you take one and you hold it with care, you can fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it until, oh, there, full. Grab the next one. Fill it, fill it, fill it. You feel me? You feel me? Get it? <laughs> but speaking of being fulfilled, something really interesting in your reading, Aquarius. Um, I always find it remarkable when I see a queen and king of the same suit in a reading together. And you may have noticed that we have the king of wands, I'm sorry, the king of cups in your past, and the queen of cups is the conclusion slash key. So this is part of why I wonder if, if any of you have um, Capricorn placements because the king of cups came up as you in the Capricorn reading. So this is you, that's what spirit is telling me. You are the water bearer. Um, so you can identify, like I said, any which way on the gender spectrum. King and queen has nothing to do with gender or sex, everything to do with personality type. And you have that solar emperor masculine energy, masculine energy going on right now of I want and I'm going to go get and I'm going to build versus the lunar or like feminine energy of like receptivity. You may have noticed if you hang around here, Aquarius, that I don't talk about love and romance in like every single reading, like a lot of a lot of people do. That's because I don't I know how fucking important it is to people, and ethically speaking, I don't like to fucking talk about it unless spirit is like ding 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 ding. ding. <laughs> like we gotta talk about it. Um, so we gotta talk about it because that is a pretty nice set of cards for, I'm just gonna say it because this is what was like ready to fly out of my mouth, for like divine partnership. Now, these are of course, as you know, Aquarius general readings. So this isn't gonna be as laser focused as if you and I were just sitting across from each other having a one-on-one -on -one reading, right? Then we could get a lot more specific. For some of you, this is very definitely about encountering or maybe making things official or going like that next step with someone who you really are really, really, really well, like um, well connected, you really go well together. So this could be romantic. This could also be a like a business, academic type partnership. We're gonna learn this together. We're gonna do this together. Together, we're gonna run this all the way. Maybe that, Queen of Cups is the person that your Knight of Wands is like, hand me the baton and I'll carry it to the next person. So maybe you do your King of Cups part in this project and then the Queen of Cups comes in to do her part. Either way, whether this is romantic, whether this is creative, whether this is in business, whether this is a friend, this is a nice blend. And Spirit's making a note, just a little funny note, that you are a water bearer. And that is why you're coming in as a King of Cups this month. The King of Cups does have something great in common with you, which is... Uh, they have like a... I've always thought of the King of Cups as actually kind of a blend of air and water. like Kind of like air of water. Because, yes, they're the King of Cups. They're the King of Emotions. So that means they're the master of their emotions. There's a reason uh, that the King is depicted on this like steady platform somehow in the middle of the ocean. So it's like somehow, even though he is in touch with the ocean of his feelings, he is not overwhelmed, he's not drowning, he's actually perfectly calm and, and stately as a matter of fact. And the idea is that the King of Cups has been to the depths and so has the Queen. And for her, what she gained was tremendous empathy tremendous empathy like almost like I can see right through you and the king also has that gift but the king is more interested in seeing what people can build when he helps them with their emotions that's just how spirits putting it like wow if I can get this good of a grip on how I'm feeling 
If I can know, like, man, I get really sad sometimes, or man, I'm still reeling from this past heartbreak, but I'm here, and I'm alive, and I'm still going, and I'm still kicking. I feel like you're getting more and more and more empowered, Aquarius, the more in touch you get with your heart. And it's kind of like you're softening and you're strengthening. I'm not trying to make you a toilet paper commercial right now. But that's what Spirit is saying is like the softening that you're doing or experiencing is strengthening you. It's not making, it's not going to make you weaker to be softer. It's making you better and stronger and more able to connect and more able to share this, this gift that you have to do this business or this idea or this project. There's an attainment of great wisdom and I feel like great power too this month. What do you want to be known for? Go for it. That's what I'm hearing. Very, very interesting, Aquarius. I'm very, very interested. Um, so what's going on? Do you have stories? Do you have questions? Do you have advice? Do you have comments for your fellow Aquarians? Um, this would be a good time for catharsis in the comments. So if you want to vent, if you want to talk, um, let me know. I really, really appreciate you being here, Capricorn. And I want to say that I really appreciate the likes, the comments, the subscribes and shares, all of that stuff really, really, it's, it's like a small little action that does such a huge, huge amount for me. So I really, really appreciate you guys helping me to get this message out to more people just so that we can live in a brighter, lighter, more compassionate world. That is ultimately my goal. So thank you for being here and helping me along with that. <laughs> much, much love to you, Aquarius. Thank you for being here. I hope this helps. And if I don't see you in a reading before then, then I will see you in May. Bye, Aquarius. <laughs>